Hello, my name is Rob Stern and I am the Editor-in-Chief of the new book Patent Office Litigation, which will be published by Thomson Reuters West in November of 2012. This is a comprehensive book dealing with the new contested proceedings, which became law and effective on September 16, 2012, and are probably the most significant change in U.S. patent practice in the last 60 years. These contested proceedings test the patentability of issued patents in the United States Patent Office before a new court, which they have created, called the Patent Trial and Appeal Board. And what's most important to know is that this test, if not met by a patent owner, will be fatal to their patent, which will prevent them from enforcing their patent, licensing their patent, or frankly conveying a valid patent because it has been declared by the U.S. Patent Office no longer to be patentable. Now, the book, the book that I have written for Thomson Reuters West deals with all aspects of this new contested proceeding world. And what I'm doing with this video is providing one of my predictions as to what I think will happen in the next 12 to 18 months under this new contested proceeding world. And this is my prediction number three, which I have called obviousness is king. Now, obviousness is a legal test in the U.S. patent law for patentability. In order for an invention to be found patentable or to be maintained patentable, it must be novel and it must be non-obvious over the prior technology that came before it. In these new contested proceedings, I predict, the issue of whether the invention that is covered by the patent was in fact non-obvious will be the central theme of the proceedings. In other words, they're going to second guess the original patent examiners as to whether there was enough innovation to support the claimed invention. Now, obviousness is a tricky issue for the patent owners because you need to be able to provide the patent office, patent trial and appeal board with your very best evidence to show why your invention is so significant and should still be entitled to patent protection. But this is going to be a very difficult and demanding challenge because of the short time period that the new proceedings will take. In other words, under the statute, they have to be completed within 12 months, which is a very short time period. So my prediction says to all patent owners this, be very concerned about your obviousness defense in these proceedings. Be, be willing and able to move very rapidly to get experts, to get others to provide evidence for the record for the Patent Trial and Appeal Board. And also look at, look far out to the eventual appeal to the United States Court of Appeals of the Federal Circuit so that if you are found to have a patentable invention, you can hold on to that finding of non-obviousness on appeal and if you are unfortunate and the board finds your invention to be obvious, you can get that reversed at the Federal Circuit as well. Thank you very much.